Many famous actors and celebrities are known for their big egos. We can look at that as a defensive mechanism because they are also used to receiving last-minute rejections or substitutions when it comes to the projects they like. Most of these celebrities are letting their ego get the best of them, and they are famous for not being team players. In most of these cases, Hollywood is trying to keep a distance from those actors and celebrities. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to take a look at 10 celebrities that are the most difficult to work with. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Number 10. Jennifer Lopez Whenever someone mentions Jennifer Lopez, we think of her as Jenny from the block, a person who is humble and very easy to work with. The reality is something else, and Jennifer Lopez, like many other celebrities in the US, let her fortune and fame go to her head. For those who are trying to work with her, JLo has a list of demands and requirements that should be met before she considers working with them. The most difficult part is they cannot just find a middle ground when discussing with her because it is either her way or no way at all, which makes sometimes working with her really hard. It was reported that many of her requests are very expensive and nearly impossible to be done. For example, anywhere she goes, she requests to have a private jet and to have the best luxury hotel rooms possible for her and her entire crew. Number 9. Shannon Doherty Shannon Doherty became known as a difficult actress during her stint on Beverly Hills 90210. In his memoir, Jason Priestley described Doherty's diva-like behavior, noting that she even complained about being picked up for a public appearance in a town car instead of a limo. Aaron Spelling characterized her more sympathetically, telling People magazine that Doherty is a very honest person who wears her emotions on her sleeve. Her co-stars complained that she was unprofessional and rude, although Aaron Spelling defended her as a person who spoke her mind. She left the show after only four seasons and never returned, although she appeared in the CW's spin-off show 90210 in 2008. Number 8. Charlie Sheen According to People magazine, Sheen's hard partying ways have made him increasingly difficult to work with on the set of his hit sitcom Two and a Half Men. In the letter that was sent to Charlie Sheen's lawyer, Warner Brothers Counsel explained that the actor has a series of well-chronicled and increasingly erratic outbursts. There was a piece of additional information from the Warner Brothers studio that Charlie Sheen has lost a lot of weight, started to miss his lines, and sent plenty of inflammatory comments towards Chuck Lorre, who was the film's director and co-creator of the Two and a Half Men series. Although the studio claimed to have given Sheen multiple opportunities to clean himself up in rehab and continue his recovery, the actor did not follow through with those efforts, so the studio replaced him with Ashton Kutcher for the show's final four seasons. Number 7. Kanye West Kanye West is apparently difficult, high-maintenance, and peculiar. We get that sense just from his ex-wife Kim Kardashian, who had disclosed a few details about her ex-husband's personality. One such employee, Steve Stanoulis, sat down for a chat on the Hollywood Raw podcast and revealed what life was like working on West's bodyguard. He also stated that Yeezy had specific work demands that made working for him all the more difficult. He wanted you to stay 10 paces behind him on a city street, Stenulis said. So obviously if someone is going to come up and do something, by the time I try to run up and prevent it, it would have already happened. Number 6. Christian Bale Christian Bale is so dedicated to his craft that he can sometimes lose himself in the roles he plays. His dedication was most famously evident during an on-set meltdown while filming Terminator Salvation, where the actor repeatedly dropped F-bombs while ranting against the director of photography for walking through his line of vision during an important shooting sequence. Number 5. Jennifer Aniston Not all stars are as gracious and nice as they appear in the media. Some of them actually have bad reputations and are hard to work with in Hollywood. For example, Jennifer Aniston. While many people think of her as America's sweetheart, there is more than one reason to believe that while the Friends alum may be one of America's sweethearts, however, in Hollywood, she is definitely not a friend with everyone, and a lot of celebs actually can't stand Aniston. Acting like a diva is a bit off-putting, but forgivable sometimes. Many people can forget and forgive, but when it comes to violence, it is a whole different story. Jennifer Aniston herself admitted that sometimes she is getting violent while at work. I threw a chair at a director. It wasn't my proudest moment, she said in one of her interviews. Number 4. Madonna Madonna is another famous person with diva behavior who ended up on our list of celebrities who are extremely difficult to work with. 
She was accused by people who used to work with her many times about long working hours, not being paid, etc. There was a situation when a number of Madonna's former dancers and other people working for her came back to sue Madonna and her production company because often there was a big delay in payments or they had not been paid at all. In addition to this, she was also sued by her fans and venues who have become victims of the concert delays because Madonna was often causing schedule delays which made them wait for hours until Madonna came on the stage. Number 3. Daniel Day-Lewis It is hard to put someone like Daniel Day-Lewis, a three-time Oscar winner, on a list with the rest of the celebrities that are difficult to work with. He had some really great acting performances in movies like There Will Be Blood and My Left Foot. However, his on-set reputation was reported as far from stellar. In the movie My Left Foot, he was playing a paralyzed character, but he refused to leave his wheelchair and forced the aggrieved crew members to push him in his wheelchair around the set. While Daniel Day-Lewis was filming There Will Be Blood, he threw a bowling ball at his co-star Paul Dano for one scene. This happened after Kel O'Neill, who was originally casting Dano's part, left the production with the explanation that Daniel was very intense while he was playing his character. Number 2. Russell Crowe Russell Crowe is one of those actors who are difficult to work with. This Oscar-winning actor, like many of his colleagues, has made some problems with the projects that he was working on. There was a book that was written by Nicole Laporte, which was titled The Men Who Would Be King, an almost epic tale of moguls, movies, and a company called DreamWorks, where she reveals some of Russell's most difficult characteristics. She claimed that Russell called the producer, Bronco Lustig, in the middle of the night, cursing him. He did this because he thought that he and his assistant were lowballed. The outcome was that Lustig informed Steven Spielberg that he is leaving the project because Russell Crowe wanted to kill him. He said to Spielberg, I'm leaving. Russell wants to kill me. I'm leaving. Number 1. Edward Norton Edward Norton is well known as one of those difficult actors that want to have total and creative control over the project that he is working on. There is one famous situation when Edward Norton created tension between himself and Louis Leterrier, who was the director of the Incredible Hulk movie. To the information that Slash Film released, Edward Norton decided to rewrite the script right before the production, where he added character motivations and dialogue on his own. Marvel didn't like Edward's attitude. Right after this accident happened, that was an interview where the director Louis Leterrier explained that Marvel and the character Edward Norton didn't get along. He also mentioned that the press was the reason why Norton and Marvel didn't make a decent discussion. Louis Leterrier mentioned there was a little argument at the beginning, but later it became something big that actually made Edward leave the role. After Edward Norton left the role in the Incredible Hulk movie, Marvel decided to recast the Hulk character.